Don't tell myself that the rabbit's room by myself with my friends. I need them big rats, need them big sacks. You know I'm running, I need two more cats. Need them big bucks, I talk to young and we got big gas. Need them big bucks, I need them big bucks. Need them big bucks, I need them big bucks. Need them big bucks, I need them big bucks. Need them big bucks, I need them big bucks. Need them big bucks, I need them big bucks. Need them big bucks, I need them big bucks. Need them big bucks, I need them big bucks. Need them big bucks, I need them big bucks. Need them big bucks, I need them big bucks. Need them big bucks, I need them big bucks. Need them big bucks, I need them big bucks. Need them big bucks, I need them big bucks. Need them big bucks, I need them big bucks. Need them big bucks, I need them big bucks. Need them big bucks, I need them big bucks. Need them big bucks, I need them big bucks. Need <laughs> oh, my like, hold on, what? <laughs> you either get a scare, or have your share, or you have a mixture of both, then you get that big discipline, and then you get your own fucking shit going on for yourself. I think that's going to be entertaining with that shit. But it's a lot of people, I guess, supposedly focused on their goals and whatnot, but they're not very honest with the point of not wanting a relationship. Or they treat women horribly. The time a woman can help you reach your goals, she doesn't necessarily want a relationship either. But if you're two like-minded individuals, y'all can work on goals together. Like you say, they need to like the family. You're a dope host. Alright. Hey everybody, welcome to my episode of My Truth at the Rebels Room. And I have a beautiful woman that inspired me to let my chest out today. <laughs> this is the chest edition. Miss Taz, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Hey, but uh I'm not gonna get right into it right now. I wanna know the backstory behind that shirt. Like, like <laughs> Where 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 can ladies find a shirt like that? Don't tell them where to get that shirt because that's your shirt. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie to you. Um, you know, it's the typical online shopping. I do not go to malls, I don't do um labels and all that good stuff. Online shopping. Online shopping? Okay. Yeah, I like boutiques I that are like in the cut, you know. Oh yeah. But uh, I'm gonna go to our icebreaker. And our icebreaker is uh, basically what type of music is in your playlist? What type of music's in my playlist? More so like R and B, a little okay. a little rap here and there, you know. Okay. Uh, it really just depends on my mood. Okay. So what's the vibe when you're going to go get a shirt? What song are you listening to when you about to go get that shirt right there? This shirt right here. Yeah. This is a definitely a, I don't know, maybe like a, a R and B type of song. Like you know, this is a this is a Beyonce get your freak on your freak on dress, you know, <laughs> kind of shirt. <laughs> yeah. So that rap music, what kind of what what kind of attire that we dressing for that? Uh, is we put on the baseball baseball cap or we? Like, well, I don't the... really wear too much hats uh, or baseball caps, but definitely like a jeans, nice top, maybe sweat sweat set, sweat jacket, sweat jacket, sh oh, sweat pants. Sorry, yeah. excuse me. Yeah, I, up, but yeah, you can't mess up today. You can't mess up today. You get a whole bunch of freebies today. Good. I have a uh, statement that I just discovered or I'm incorporating into my life and I want you to elaborate on it or give me your output on it. Okay. It is plain and simple. Niggas they don't they do not want to know the truth about everything about their woman because if it do it will hurt their fucking heart. That's true. The men cannot accept the truth the way men, women do. Mm hmm But you do. I'm telling you, if you know everything that your girl do, it's gonna break your goddamn heart, bro. Because y'all are, y'all are uh, sneaky little devils, man. Y'all are. No, no, no. Okay, so are we talking about present tense, past tense? Are we in a relationship? What? Or we before? Talking about we're talking about the woman species, the vaginal person in general is a sneaky mm -hmm. person. I mean, we all sneaky, but y'all just like, y'all do it. Y'all are, y'all are strategic. Y'all are studious. I mean, y'all are, y'all are very good at hiding y'all shit and, and very well 
at uh at uh covering it up too. Cause y'all would be in a relationship and know y'all want to be out of it, but y'all would stick around for a whole year. Like that's that's some that's strong true. that's some strong determination as woman out there. Yeah, but it depends though. Like if she's sticking around, she's not necessarily talking to other dudes, but she might confide in another man during their relationship. And then from there, after that relationship ended, because she already mentally prepared for that ending, she might move on with that person afterwards. But not necessarily her sneaking around during a relationship. Um, now, some men can't accept the truth as far as her past, though, when they meet. Oh, that's right. The- that's exactly. Lame. That is lame. Because at the same time, they definitely have a past, too. But if they meet a woman just like them, they don't like that. I mean, yeah, because, like, if a woman tells me her past is, like, my past, I'm going to be like this, but I'm going to be like, damn, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to be like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be, like, testing her, like, to make sure she's done with that shit. Like, right. I might, uh, I might, uh, I'm going to get so much flat for this. This might sound so lame and fucked up. I might have one of my partners try, bro. Fuck it. It might be lame, but I know. I know. I sleep better at night. Hey. That's that's messing up trust, though. Hey, I'll that's fucked up. That. It's fucked up, but hey, and and then it'll be a, it it'd be one of my partners that she ain't even met yet. Like one of the partners she ain't even met yet, and I just say, hey, bro. Now nah, I ain't doing no like no no uh no uh, internet shit like. Sliding in the like, no, that's lame. That's goofy. But I want her, I want, like, out in public. Like, hey, bro, I just sent her to the store to go get some grits. Be by the grits aisle. And wait for her. <laughs> Yes, bro. Yes. Yeah, but yeah. What, if, what if she do give him her number? Like, it don't mean that she going to talk to you. Like, what kind of conversation are you looking for? Okay, that's a good for question. Go Okay, okay, that's a good question, but I'm going to let him already know. Let her know what type of time you on. So it ain't no mis- mis- misunderstanding. Like, oh, he was just my friend. Nah, nigga, I sent him. Like, I know. He said he was going to take you out. He wanted to do this. He want- you know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm, and I got some partners that, you know, they, they ready for that mission. Oh, Lord. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's hard, but it's fair. It's hard, but it's fair. I mean, it happens. You see that one Instagram girl, she's a going around DMing dudes, like, and she got a lot of followers, so I wouldn't even I mean, but that, see, 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 now that is kind of what I'm doing is, like, misleading too, but come on, DMs, that's like, that's corny, bro. That's, that's a trap. That's a trap. That's a trap, right? I don't think, I don't think any of the niggas that had a girlfriend in that situation, their girlfriend left them. Because that's, right. that's, a, that's a trap, bro. That's a trap, man. That's actually a scam. That's something. Hey, what was the last three things you Googled? That's a good question. I don't know. Probably um, furniture, because I just bought a house. Mm-hmm. So I've been like looking for like storage bins, things like that. Nothing crazy. Okay. Uh, Random, would you sign a prenup? Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, as long as it's protecting me and, and the other person, yeah. Right. Because I feel like women that don't sign a print, I mean, like, why not? I mean, what is it going to hurt? You would negotiate for yourself too. I'm not just going to sign on somebody else's terms, but of course. Yeah. So uh, a prenup, do you think it should always be to protect the person with the most financial assets or just it should always be like no matter what, everybody should sign a prenup? No matter what, everybody should sign a prenup because you never know where you'll be in five, ten years. You just never know. You could be a millionaire in five to ten years. You just don't know. Oh, you so can win the lottery in that house. So, so, so if you do become a millionaire and if you with somebody, you're going to be looking to upgrade? I mean, 
it depends. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it wow. Depends. It, let's not say upgrade. We're not going to say upgrade. You talking about from the person? Yeah. Oh, no. If they're loyal and was loyal though that whole time frame, we're cool. We're good. If if I got this money, you got it too. So, what are we about to do with it? So what's your definition of cheating? Cheating? Cheating is actually going all the way. You know what I'm saying? Like every once in a while, I don't know. I feel like all men cheat at least once. I just, I feel that way. They all do. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Do you have, do you have anything to back that theory up? Or are you just thinking? No. I, life. I mean, every relationship I've seen, like men, as we talked about the DMs, sliding in everybody's DMs, leaving comments under people's uh, pics. Like, I've even had men that I've gone to like high school with or whatever. They DM me talking about, they want to talk, meet up or whatever, but then their girlfriends call me like five minutes later, like they did not just have a conversation with me, which is insane. Yeah. It's crazy out here. So at that point, I believe all men cheat. Oh, okay. But uh I got another thing. If if a woman want a keyword successful man in a relationship, she gonna have to deal with a little bit of cheating now. Just a little bit. Excuse <laughs> <me>? <laughs> just, a, just, just a little bit. Just a little bit. No, that's not true. I feel like a successful man really focuses on his his success. Like, he's not going to have time to cheat. And if he does, you know, like I said, it's that one time. And once that wife or whoever finds out, especially a woman who helped him get to where he is, you know, mm-hmm. like... It, that'll be cut off at one at one point or another. At the same time, no, you can't tell a man what not to do because he gonna do it anyway. Right, but like cheat, cheating is cheating is a nigga not coming home, a nigga going to buy gifts and uh, spending uh, holding hands, spending is extravagant quality time. You know what I'm saying? If a nigga get off work, go to a girl house. Get some and go back home and then go home before supper. That ain't cheating. That's like that's oh, like whoa. <laughs> that's like a nigga. Okay, that's like a nigga getting out of work and going to the gym and then going home. It's the same thing because he's just going to go get a workout. It's that's he just burning some calories. What? Why we? Why couldn't he burn some calories at the crib? I mean, because sometimes you want to do different exercises. You know what I'm saying? You just don't want to do burpees all the time. You want to know you want to hit the bench. You know, then why we in a relationship? I mean, because see, women look at relationships as if I if I have an entanglement because that's the word y'all using. Have an entanglement with somebody. Oh, all of a sudden, I don't love you. So I mean, how you gonna tell me how I feel about you? I'm in a relationship because I love you. Okay, so if you love me, then why are you cheating? Like, if you love me, then you're not going to think about somebody else to touch, to, you know, love on. Like, no, sex is it's intimate. Not, no, it's not. To see, 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 that's, see the way you see, you see that passion and that feeling you have about sex. We don't feel like that. So the way y'all feel about it, y'all try to push it on us. And he'd be like, if I feel like this about sex, then you probably feel that way about sex. And if you feel that way about sex, that means you wanted her during that time. Like, no, we didn't want that person at that time the same way we wanted you. When I made love to you, I look you in your eyes. When I'm like, well, it's been over. Go on, skedaddle. So why do we not just have an open relationship? That's a good point. That's a good start. That, would, would, would that be something you'd be open to? An open relationship? In a beginning stage, yeah. Ooh, For sure. Shit. Bullshit. I just acted like I was cool with it just to hear your answer. I ain't with no open relationship. Fuck no. My woman. Why not? If you plan on cheating anyway, like you said, go get a workout. You might as well be open to go ahead and get that workout in. I'm At least I know. You know what I'm saying? I am not, I'm not at home wondering where you at and why you not home at a certain time. Oh. Look, look, baby, I'm gonna always be home at seven o'clock. I always be home at seven o'clock. If I get off at four, and if I got two hours, 
I'm still home at seven. I'm still home at seven. So then you won't have the energy that I need you to have when you get home. Why? Why? Why won't? We, that's a double header. Men don't last that long. I'm sorry. I'm no, sorry. No, no, your men don't last that long. I'm sorry, <laughs> man. I'm serious though. Like you can't, you can't satisfy more than one person. Honestly, Jeez. any men, they just can't. They can't. Like, why not put that extra work in into that woman who's sitting here waiting for you to, you know, take care of her? I mean, I feel you. I feel you. But everything I just said, it was just bullshit. Of course, the nigga ain't finna do that. But I just want to see how you feel. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but no, but, but no, though, like, I, I, I do honestly do feel like cheat. I'm not condoning cheat. I'm not trying to justify cheating. But I do feel like the way y'all feel about sex and the way it's so intimate and passionate, like we don't feel like that. And I just want to normalize, like let ladies, let women know, like the same way you feel about it, we don't feel that. We still feel passionate and intimate and into it. But the same way how you put it on like a pedestal, we look at it as like, 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 we look at it like hot sauce. Like we want hot sauce on everything, but hot sauce. I mean, we still want the meal, but yeah, hot sauce. Like hot sauce. Like y'all look at like sex in a man. Y'all look at it like the main course. You know what I'm saying? It's. I mean, I get it. I get it. But I don't know. I mean, cause I got testosterone. I don't have estrogen, so I don't think we'll never. When I say we, I don't think the man or the woman or the both sexes will never understand like. How y'all, how we both feel about sex. That's true. I I get that. I always say that men definitely think way different than women do anyway. Um, especially as far as sex goes. I mean, but I think no, no, no this real shit, this real shit. I don't know if you hadn't heard any of my podcast podcast or my fucking interviews, but uh like I was in a relationship with yeah, we were people talking in that shit. But uh that made me realize like I've been an honest person since then and it feels good. Like if you don't fuck with it, you don't fuck with it. Like I, I do I, I do think that you should go into the relationship being honest and telling that person, look, I'm a sex fan. I like you know what I'm saying? So they know, you know what I'm saying? But and if she's not with it, then Okay, cool. But if that nigga sex fan, he probably ain't got no hobbies, and he probably probably leave that nigga alone. That's why you should always find somebody that's on the same um, playing field, on the same wavelength. Yeah, but people don't even in like that regard. To, yeah, but people don't even like to meet people out at regular places no more. Most people meeting each other through social media and stuff. I mean, ain't nothing wrong with it, but. Like it's a failure because you can't you can't feel energy through a profile pic. You know what I'm saying? You can't feel vibes. You know what I'm saying? I can't. I only get to use one of my senses when seeing you, and that's my eyes and my. Well, you can use your ears too, but I can't touch you. I can't like touch you. I mean, I can't touch you. I can't smell you. I can't. You know the whole aura. You know what I'm saying? But. Hey, I mean that makes sense. different strokes for different folks. Right? Yeah, just like like you said, you can't get the vibe in person. So once you see somebody, you already kind of got in your mind what you what you what you expect as far as physically. So a lot of men, it's when you finally meet them from online, they just jump to the physical aspect of a relationship and not even a relationship. They just jump to yeah. you know the touching part. And that's not quite right. <laughs> like once you once you uh develop the skill of dick discipline, that's when you become a man. Like mm. once you develop that shit, like I mean, and it feels good to have dick discipline, man. It's like because back in the not back in the day, but like a few years ago, it was don't give a fuck what I don't care if she could read, don't care if she could talk. She got a fat ass. And she pretty. I want to talk. You know what I'm saying? I mean, but but that's 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 how we young men with 
a lot of testosterone, a lot of energy. That's how we that's how we fucking train. We just want to fucking put it in, put it somewhere. But right. once you either get a scare, once you have your share, or once you uh have a mixture of both, then when you get that dick discipline and then you get your own fucking shit going on for yourself. Then you're, I think that's when a man should be in a entertain a relationship. Right. Because if, if not, you're just gonna be fucking, 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 lying, cheating. You're gonna be not focused on your purpose. And not on the 10, you're gonna attract people that's should have been in your circle, man. So right. and where uh where shit is, bugs come. And that's what women are. Bugs. <laughs> <laughs> you saw my face like, hold on, what? <laughs> no, I'm just playing. But no, the for real though, man. A man need to get on his purpose. A man needs to uh, ha- uh, either have his share or, uh, I hate to say it, have a scare to develop dick discipline. Once he develops dick discipline, that's when he should engage the thought of the relationship. That's my, that's my take. But some men... You know, they don't have to go through foolish shit to learn. They can learn from other people's mistakes. That's what a wise man do, learn from other people's mistakes. That's what I was told. But I still had to jump into that fire. Right. Yeah. But it's a lot of men who are, I guess, supposedly <laughs> focused on their goals and whatnot, but they're not very honest with the point of not wanting a relationship or, or they treat women horribly because they are focused. And if you're focused in that regard, then you should literally just focus and you shouldn't use women while you're, you know, trying to reach your goals. You know what I'm saying? At the same time, a woman can help you reach your goals. She doesn't necessarily want a relationship either. But if you're two like-minded individuals, y'all can work on goals together. Y'all don't have to be together. Y'all can be friends and still do what you do. You can both, you know, help each other in many different ways if you get what I'm saying. Yeah. And it'll I mean, be okay. It- yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I catch a, I catch a drift. Like that's how, I, how what you just explained. I, that's how I kind of am now. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm focused. I don't, I don't want to say on myself, but I'm focusing on progressing. And like I do meet a lot of dope women, but it's like that's not the task. That's not the goal. Like keep it pushing, keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? But I probably have missed out on somebody that can help me or that can bring a different hindsight to what I'm doing. But I am quick to, that. but that's just me as a person, not just a woman. I'm quick to like blinders, leave me alone. I'm doing this. But uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I catch a, I catch a drift. It's kind of going to be hard for me to do that because I'm 28 now. And, you know, it's hard to break bad habits or old habits. But I mean, I understand what you said. Everything you just, what you just said, was a hundred percent right. Hundred percent right. Yeah. Maybe I can uh, work on that. Work on that. But uh, what's the last meal you cooked for a man? <laughs> so I am a chef, but <laughs> I do not. I do not. I haven't gotten to a place where I felt comfortable cooking for a man. No man has ever given me that 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 vibe of I want it more or okay you look like somebody I can you know I can treat and submit to you know I mean I feel you but you're a beautiful black woman you trying to tell me you've never been in a relationship with a man you just like cook them some eggs so so I'm 22 let's Uh put that out there um the last relationship I was in was like probably four years ago when I was just leaving or ending high school, honestly. And we did used to like cook breakfast and stuff together. Like it was, it felt intimate. I mean, at that age, you know, but at the same time after that, I was like, no, (laughs) no, someone would really have to show me something different before I like cooking is, um, a special thing for me so for me to expose those that that skill set 
it, it wouldn't have to be someone I really do care for. Okay. I'm very passionate about cooking, too. Like, I love to fucking cook. I, I like it because, one, I'm a foodie. Two, it's like, is there's no rules. And right. three, and three is like, it's like meditation. It's like, I can freelance. I can do this. I can, I can, you know what I'm saying? When I be having my gatherings, I like to put shit on the grill. I like for motherfuckers to come over and I might not be in a face like this, but when you bite that burger, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I might be in the corner, like looking like how his face, how his face, how his face or her face is when they bite that burger. I mean, I feel you. I, I like, I, I feel you on the cooking shit. And I don't know if you watch my snaps, but I'm, I like it. Y'all, you I'll be seeing me. You, I'll be seeing you up in there, Chef Peter. I'll, I'll be trying. I'll be trying. I'll be trying. <laughs> I'll be trying, man. But yeah, I feel you on that shit. Like, you just can't be having. Plus, well, I don't want everybody in my in my energy, in my space. But mm-hmm. if you coming over, like, I don't mind cooking, man. I like that shit. Uh, but it's an intimate thing for you, though. You ain't just about to cook for somebody on the street. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I'm I'm, I'm not, but in order for me to cook for you or cook for the gathering, you got to be close to me anyway because you're going to be in my space, you know what I'm saying? Or, or somebody bring a friend and they vouch it for you, you know what I'm saying? You just eat, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I ain't cooking from just no anybody. You know? I don't know. Exactly. We were talking about the cooking and the intimate thing. So when you get into a relationship or you talking to a guy or a woman, don't know which way you go, you know, you might be, you know, whatever. Do you start from a hundred? Do you let them start from a hundred and then they got to keep that a hundred? Or do you automatically start them at zero and then they got to work their way up to a hundred? Oh, zero. Always zero. Got to start at ground, ground zero. You ain't shit, right? I don't believe you. I don't trust you. Nothing. <laughs> Not that you're not shit, but that's how I am. Like, not you. To, everybody, and no, I'm, I'm saying that's how I am. Everybody's starting at zero. I don't trust you. Exactly. I don't believe you. You ain't shit. Uh, uh, soon as I turn around, you gonna stab me. Uh, all that shit. Yep. Yep. Exactly. Everybody's starting at hundred with me. <laughs> I'm Fuck not that. about to play. Hell no. Nah. I ain't. I ain't. I ain't going for it, man. Uh, yeah, people are out here using people like. No, yeah. I can't. I can't be a step in your step ladder. I can't do it. <laughs> that's why. You, that's why you should sure hang around people that ain't got shit to lose. That's true. That's why I stay by myself. Right, man. Hey, so uh, I don't know what's the proper word. So, if I'm a bachelor, what you a bachelorette? Is that a word? Oh, so you're mm-hmm. a bachelorette. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. So, um, uh, what is the what is something that is overrated that you live by yourself that you thought was gonna be dope but it's kind of overrated i guess i feel like i can focus on a relationship more so outside of my house Mm -hmm. outside of this house in my own house okay that way i can have those intimate moments with another person and i'm quite frankly i work a lot and i am I'm not lazy, but I refuse to leave my house. So I can have people come to me at that point or one person that I do deem special. If you was in a relationship and if you was with a, a guy that you really like and you find out he was lying, would you wait and put, see how that lie play out or would you listen to it all the way? Would, as, far, as far, oh, I'm going to listen first. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm going to hear them out and see what's going on because I like to study people and understand why they're lying, you know? So I'm going to listen first because if I already know the truth, then I already know the truth. I'm going to let you get it out and I'm explain bit by bit why it's not the truth. Because <laughs> you, you're going to are... come up with a million lies as to why that one lie is true. So we're just going <laughs> to go ahead and go ahead and break it on down so you can't even say nothing else. You know what I'm saying? But the truth. You a cancer? No, I'm a Taurus. Headstrong. Okay. You said headstrong? Yeah, headstrong. 
<laughs> but we treat you right though until you, you know, until you treat us. I don't us know. Right. I don't know. I never been with tours. What? Been with tours. Nah. Been with Cancers, Sagittarius, Geminis. Did I say Cancer? Mm hmm. Yeah, Are Cancers cancer your favorite? Because. No, no. Nah. No, I get along with Cancers. I get along with Cancers. My favorite. I don't have a favorite. I hate them all equally. <laughs> My lord, why? Nah, I, I, don't, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't hate them because each one that I've been with, I know a person that was good. Like, I just, I will never get in a relationship with a Sagittarius. Mm. Yeah, why? I mean because they're they're self centered, super mm. self centered. If they they're not going to do anything or like to do anything out of the kindness of their heart. If they're doing it, they're looking for a favor in return. Or if they do it, they're doing it for, because they're getting some type of gain out of it. Like, And that's all Sagittarius, bro. Um, I mean, but I know some dope Sagittarius. I won't be in a relationship with them. So, yeah. No, I can't get along with people like that. Yeah, cancers, cancers are cool people to be around with. Oh yeah, I know a lot about Scorpios too. Uh, cancers are cool to be around, but when they mad, they cut deep, and I mean deep. They mm. cut to the like they they go for kill. They go for kill. Yeah. Uh, Scorpios are just very emotional, very fucking emotional, but are. Portray hard, but put it soft on the inside. Like, if you get a Scorpio's heart, you got their heart failing. Yeah. Never been with a Taurus. Never, oh, been, with Taurus, Never been with Taurus. Never been with Taurus. Never been with Taurus. Always, I don't know. Just, I know a couple of Taurus, but this was never. What's your sign again? I'm a Libra. Libra. Ah. Interesting. <laughs> Tell me more. Tell me more. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Leapers are they're they they when they talk to you, they 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 I don't know how to explain it. They, they fuck with you, right? Like uh, they they come in real strong, but once they done with you, I mean yeah. Out of here. Yeah. Out of I mean, here. <laughs> I mean I mean because because that's because we probably done seen enough flaw shit that it's gonna validate why we yeah, y'all okay. don't play. And we, we don't like, you not. Yeah, and we don't like confrontation. Like, it is what it is. Like, I've seen it, seen enough, seen enough. Uh, why do you think divorce rate is so high? Honestly, well, I thought right now it's kind of low, but I think it's because we're all stuck and can't really get into courts right now. Mm -hmm. But, um, I think women are finally starting to stand up for themselves, to be honest with you. Um, they're learning to have their own voice. I mean, it's, uh, um, it's different from back in the day when we didn't have a voice. Men would tell us to shut up and we would have to shut up. You know what I'm saying? And we, we have our own careers now. We have our own money. We don't have to p depend on a man. We don't have to sit back and watch a man cheat on us and bring us, you know, little side babies to take care of and whatnot now. So things are a little bit different. It's changing. That's the best answer I have got. And you're fucking right. You're fucking right. Because I've always been one-track minded when I ask that question, bro. I love this show, man. I love this shit, man. I get the <laughs> answers that I want. I get to talk to beautiful people. I get to meet dope-ass women. Like, this is... This is this is dope. But yeah, what you said was because they're not fucking obligated to our bullshit anymore. Right. That makes sense. That makes sense. Because I was looking at it and it was like 85% of the divorces is be, uh, the woman asked for it. So that makes sense though. Because I think they go in wanting what their mother had or what their big mama had or what their auntie had, their generation older. They was married. Then when they get married, they're like, hold on. You trying to tell me I can vote? I can read? I can <laughs> goddamn, I can go to school? I can get a loan? 
You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? I can strip. I don't need a nigga. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know about that part. <laughs> <laughs> what? You ever thought about stripping? Just thought about I mean, just the thought. Just, okay, put like this. Okay, if you were, all women like, have that thought. Oh, okay, so that's why I said. Okay, let me change it because that's so cliche. Uh, if you was a stripper, what would your stripper name be? What would my stripper name be? I don't know. Probably my name, Taz. Taz Angel. I don't know. <laughs> but, you know I, I thought about it, but I think all women have that thought when they have one bad day in like just. Fuck this job. I'm about to just go hit the pole. One good day. (laughs) That's it. But other than that, no. I feel like being a black woman in in the type of environment or Uh or people around me, they might be like, you know, they see a thick woman and think, you know, you should go strip or something like that. But you know, as far as seriously thinking about it, mm -hmm. do you think woman? Women, women that aren't sexually appealing have it harder in life. Well, yeah. This world is all about how you look or what appeases the uh, the common eye as you move up, and that's not just on a you know I'm attracted to you basis. This is real life stuff like even as far as moving up in the world and careers like they are looking at how you look how you talk how you dress so Mm -hmm. yeah but if you're ugly and you dress nice like me who said you was ugly though i'm just saying huh i mean like i'm i'm uh i'm funny looking who said you was funny with <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's just what I say. Not even. I, uh-huh. I try to I, I, I try to stay humble. I try to stay humble. Uh, <laughs> have you ever been in a relationship and uh a guy tried to get you to leave it and he knew you was in a relationship? As far as me being in a relationship and another guy tried to infiltrate that relationship? Yeah, try to penetrate them walls, man. He was like, ah, this is my fucking relationship <laughs> now. Like, No, but that one phrase women hate as far as them being in relationships or having babies is because of you I have a baby. It's because of you I'm married now. It could have been you. This and the third. That is annoying. <laughs> Hold on. Say what now? You got to say that. I'm sorry. Okay, so men, they'll have a baby and then they'll say, Oh, I have this baby because of you, because you were playing or you disappeared or whatever, what have you. Like, what? Damn, what? what? You never heard that? I mean, I don't date niggas. I mean. <laughs> so, for a lot of things, I told you, you the reason they got. So, how many, so how many niggas, you the reason they got babies? <laughs> we ain't even gonna go there. <laughs> Just know I dodged a few bullets, okay? <laughs> um, this is something I don't know. If you, you watch my snap. You see some of the questions that I put on there. Hey, I think it, I, I like the questions that I put. Some of them are very controversial. Some of the women be like, oh, hell no. Nah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but, Give me an example. Huh? Give me an example. Uh, well, this is one. How important or what the fuck is when a relationship ends? What is closure? What the hell is that? <laughs> like, like, like if okay, if we date, if you don't like me no more, I don't like you no more. Okay, that's it. We done. I, how I was explaining closure was what could have been better. I'm not gonna give you any pointers to make your next relationship better. I hope that shit fail too. Like, I'm not, like, like, what's the point of closure? It depends. It depends on why the relationship ended. If you're the reason why the relationship ended, that's not the type of closure that I need. The type of closure I need after it ends is me telling you what you did wrong and where it went wrong. You know what I'm okay, saying? Okay, so understand okay. how I feel. Okay, so the reason we're not together is because of what I did wrong, right? Mm-hmm. 
who gives a fuck? We're not together. <laughs> I mean, explain it. I don't understand closure. Like, what the fuck is closure? Like, sometimes if, if, you have to let go of a woman needs to let go of how she feels. So once it's out there in the atmosphere, she can move on too. You know what I'm saying? She has has to get it off her chest to vent. Oh, so you're looking for a laugh cuss out. In a way, like you're letting like a heavy weight off your shoulders. You need that. Or you're going to forever have that. Not forever. It's going to take a minute, though, to really get that anger off of you. Man, you better get a deal, though, and talk to it. <laughs> what, is, <laughs> what is something that took you a while to grow out of? Grow out of? My shyness. Your shyness? I'm still shy, yeah. I'm still shy, but it's a lot better than where I was. Like it was to a point where I can't I couldn't even really speak, honestly, because I don't know, maybe I just personally don't like people that mm-hmm. much. I just have a really bubbly personality, so it makes it seem like, you know, I'm okay, yeah. I'm down or whatever. But yeah. You know, it took me a minute. I mean, I do enjoy conversations with people, um, mm-hmm. but I definitely have a uh, human interaction meter. Okay, once I hit that that point, it's over with. <laughs> I think you uh, the more you accomplish in life, it'll 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 get more easier. True. It'll get easier, and I think it'll turn from shyness to protect protecting yourself. You know what I'm saying because. Yeah. The more you progress, man, it's gonna be a lot of niggas like that tag, that tag. <laughs> like, no, it ain't me. It's not me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, strange question. What is a reason you was interested into a guy, but he normally isn't your type? I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, be honest, perfectly honest. His um, car? No. Oh, okay. it's, it's mostly about the inside. You know what I'm saying? I, no, true. Uh, this is the truth. I promise this is the truth. I always look at a person from the inside, seriously. And if you don't typically look like or act like my, my type and I'm dealing with you, there's a reason why I think that you should act or will be better than what I had before which is hard to adjust to to be honest with you um I've tried and that attraction it just doesn't come my mom is like that could be the person that you know change your life or whatever but I'm like "Mm -mm, mm -mm." I mean so like is it is is it because you see them as you see flawed tendencies in them or do you see them as like motherfucker born Cause nowadays women want to be entertained. Boring. <laughs> there we go. There we go. See? They're, they're not boring. I'm boring. I'm boring. Like I can sit there and exactly. not talk to you for real. Like most, I said, the shine is most. Like, and that's I'm the boring. thing. And that's the thing. Most women are boring, but they want to be entertained. Like I don't get it. Like most women want to be taken out to eat, but they ain't got twenty dollars. Like most women <laughs> want to be. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. Like most women. Don't got it. Don't want to be picking up, but don't got a car. Like what the fuck? Like <laughs> that doesn't make sense. I think a man and woman exactly. should have the same things or on the same mindset wavelength. But I feel like a woman shouldn't date unless she has something under her belt too, unless she has the like minded idea that she's gonna be a sugar baby and he knows that he's about to be a sugar daddy. I'm just saying. But it's fuck niggas out here that then made women feel like they pussy is just as valuable as necessities in life. I mean it's why you know, like you have like a woman don't have a dollar, a car, a house, shit in her name. But she will put her pussy up here with the same shit that a nigga worked hard for. Like no, it don't work like that. No, it's the entitlement for me, but men are like that out here too. Like these men out here are bombs and think that the dick will carry them everywhere they want to go, but it don't work like that. 
I, I can't. <laughs> it's the entitlement, like I said, for me. So, like I said, a man and a woman have to have like-minded uh, mm-hmm. uh, uh, thoughts and have the same things. You have to have a car. You have to have some type of living arrangements that you putting in on. You know what I'm saying? I need to know that you can handle yourself, that you're stable mm-hmm. enough to take care of yourself at least. That's the bare minimum. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, that's a that's a good uh attribute to look at when you uh, get into a new relationship because I'm telling you, bro, like taking care of somebody or like make it feel like you're taking care of somebody and they ain't doing shh, nothing. You? Nah, it ain't gonna work, man. But not for me. That's why I like. Shit, I girls gotta leave after we done. Right, I won't even date. I won't even date until I close on my house. I'm not even gonna lie to you, and it's because I feel as though once I have the things that I have, I can attract the man that I want. Because, like I said, these men are trying to come up on whatever you got. They don't care what it is. You can have just twenty dollars. They want that twenty dollars and then some right now. And I ain't trying to give it to nobody. Yeah. <laughs> but okay, so so. So when you, let's just say you do find that guy that you're looking for, right? Mm-hmm. Do you put your house on the market or do you move in? With, so do you move in with him or does he move in with you? Um, why do I have to put up the house on the market either way it goes? I'm thinking longevity. So if I have this house and he has his own house, he can either sell his house and I can sell my house or keep our house is and rent them out. Whatever we can do, make some money off our houses. You know what I'm saying, and get a house together. That's growth. That's 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 how you build generational wealth, right there. <laughs> we hear that. We hear that, fellas. We hear that, fellas. So you bum ass niggas with the new Jordans, with the Marta card, mm-hmm. and only twenty dollars in your name. Mm-hmm. But you still gotta spend ten. At the China Express, mm-hmm. there are women out here like this that you guys can probably get, but your dick gang ain't gonna take you all the way because she on game. Let them know. Hey, I fucks with it. I fucks with it. <laughs> hey, is there something that you told a man and you was like, do this, do that, do that, and they ain't listen and the shit blew up in their face? As far as them personally, yeah. Of course. So, yes. you be, so you be out here, in, I'm not in that room, you be out here, Erica, by doing this, and they don't be listening, huh? You got like a, you, you got like a, a motherly nature to you. Yeah. Like a, like an earth tone nature to you. I do. I, I really do. Yeah. What is your idea of like, your Same. ideal woman? Let's put it that way. My ideal woman? Mm-hmm. My ideal woman is somebody that, first of all, has her own mindset and her own purpose and her own agenda. Someone that can put on some basketball shorts or some gym attire and we can go do some physical shit, whether it's walking, whether it's, you know, adventurous and then come back that same night, take a shower and put that sexy ass gown on and still be still be dope. You know what I'm saying? That's my ideal woman. And uh opinionated. Like some niggas stay intimidated or not too uh not too uh uh up or too uh Frown upon a woman that's opinionated or got their own mindset, like what you said earlier with uh, women realizing that they can do more shit, so that's why divorce rate might be might be higher. Somebody like that, and somebody when I'm tripping or when I'm drinking, not saying I'm obnoxious drunk, but I can't talk a lot when I'm drinking. Just talk about bullshit, and somebody that can tell me, Bobby, shut the fuck up. Let's go. <laughs> Like, <laughs> okay, baby. <laughs> <All right. laughs> like, I I like to have fun. I like to do serious shit. Like, but when we're doing serious shit, let's make it fun. You know what I'm saying? 
but that's it. But and, and somebody that's like a, I don't want to say this the wrong way, like a, a partner. You know what I'm saying? Like, do you feel like they, you found that? Huh? You mess, have, do you feel like you found that before and you messed it up, or maybe she had a flaw that you didn't like that went along with it? Mm-hmm. Well, that's the type of woman I'm attracted to, but the reason we ain't work out is because it's certain things that they did, or I did, like, I I admit, like, one, I ain't try hard enough. I was young. I didn't want, I, I was in a relationship, didn't want that shit. Another one, I cheated, uh, and she put her foot down, and I'm not bitter about it, and she did what she thought was womanly, right? She left my ass, looking dumb, stupid, crying. Uh, one, uh, just bad timing. Like my energy, y'all, her energy, y'all. But yeah, I mean, I don't think I found that it like that, that, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not mentally ready or I'm not, I'm not, I'm not in the right mental mindset to know if I even come across her and like nigga that's her but why do women do not tell us when they coming over that they on their period first (laughs) (laughs) it's wrong it's wrong but it's a good test to see where that man's mind is at with you though nah nah no, 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 because we didn't personally. No, 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 I said, oh shit, they coming over, man. Let me make sure I get everything right. Let me make sure I do shit. Make sure I have, you know, the scene right. Make sure I do everything. You know what I'm saying? And she come over to get the kissing on me. She said, oh, I don't think you want to put your hands down there. I say, what? You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm on my, I'm on my woman. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, like, let me know that from the beginning. I'm going to still let you come over. I still want to hang out. I still want to chill. But, like, it's like, I'm a man. You know, I'm going to try. You know, it's like, it's a dirty trick. I say it's a dirty trick. I see it's a dirty trick. It's hard, though. Like, women are scarred. Seriously. Like, it'll be men over there. Oh, well. Now, see, <sighs> that's what you or, or oh, my mama just called. I got to go help her move from whatnot after you tell them. So we're scarred. Women are scarred. <laughs> exactly. So though, that's when you should do it to figure out the mindset with the nigga. If, you, if the nigga still wants you to come over, then that's when you should be like, okay, he's still fuck with me. How, how often do you think a woman should wear her real hair? However she feels. That's... I don't feel like anybody should put a time frame on how a woman dresses or how she decides to wear her hair or how long. That's not right. to the woman's expression. Right. Because there's some girls that get a hat, take that hat off and put another hat on. No. And then, like, all that type of stuff, like, ruins your edges and whatnot. Don't judge my edges right now. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Mm-mm. Thank you. I think the more natural, I'm a sucker for natural woman. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because the more makeup I see, the more I'm going to be like, get the fuck away from me, bro. Like, why? Because it's a costume. It's, it's makeup. It's not your face. Like, well, I guess that depends. It depends, though. Like, some women, makeup could be a wall for some women. It is. It's like, you don't really look like that. Shut the fuck up. So like, at the same time, it, it it's like if you see them naturally, that means that they really trust you, and it doesn't necessarily mean that they're probably ugly or whatever behind the makeup. It's just mm-hmm. a wall defense mechanism. They feel different when they wear makeup. They carry themselves different when they wear makeup. 
Yeah, but why they can't do that in their natural in their natural glow in their natural skin, man? It's I like don't you know. Come- Somebody might have scarred them. You don't know. Like I said, women, we we hold on to things. We build our own vision of ourselves in our head. We know how we look, but in a way, any person we see ourselves ten times uglier than act- than we actually look anyway. So, you know. We, we kind of carry that hard. Like sometimes that could be a burden for us as women until we find confidence. Like some women with weight or whatever or how they look, uh, you get older, you get bigger. You be like, dang, I wish I really appreciated how I looked back then than how I am now. It's just a vicious cycle, honestly. Okay. So so how ugly you view yourself? <laughs> you said how ugly <laughs> do I view myself? Yeah. <laughs> You said it. You said it. <laughs> With your, your, your word in. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know how to answer this question. <laughs> uh, I, just... I mean, I don't see myself as ugly, but I don't always see myself as attractive either. Let's put it that way. You're not ugly. But I'm not ugly. No, I ain't ugly. I'm all right. I'm, huh? <laughs> but I'm all right. <sighs> I, I ain't gonna stand. We'll talk. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, but no, seriously, like, even the prettiest women, like, they're nobody, no, women are not happy, even though mm-hmm. they're the most gorgeous thing in the world. They just never know. important is like sex to women in relationship because a lot of men that watch my channel we don't know i mean it's it's pretty important i'm not even gonna lie to you i'm not gonna hold you very important it's just um finding the right person that finds it just as important like you said like y'all don't think of it that way y'all think of it as a oh it's just a old willy nilly thing but it's not for women so once it depends on too like you know the whole love language thing if a person's love language is touch I'm not even gonna lie to you that's just there it's very oh, important say it again if a person's love language is touch elaborate I- I'm sorry I'm dumb to that type of term you just said love language is touch yeah there's love languages and one is like the physical touch please explain i'm done i'm sorry i never heard <laughs> this term like i've never heard this term love language oh you never heard of that no i'm gonna need you to look into that dear but um one of them is physical touch and that person needs you know, physical reassurance within a relationship with someone as far as, mm-hmm. you know, uh, regular hugs, kisses, you know, sex, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. it just depends on what that person needs and their needs. Some women don't even enjoy sex, to be honest with you. Some women just need someone to be there with them or just have the urge of companionship. Cause I only I, I'm I'm familiar with the woman. I'm familiar with the woman's body. I'm familiar with uh, how to get a woman, but I'm not familiar with too familiar with relationships and love. I suck at both of them. <laughs> you I still women hmm? tell you what they need. Women tell you what they need. They tell you exactly what they need and. They show you too. They give you what they need from you. So they saying, so you're saying they speak to us, telling us what they need by giving us shit. Yes, they give you what they need. So she give me a sausage biscuit. That means she wants sausage biscuit. <laughs> Don't do that. I'm no. just <laughs> I'm just I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. I can't. What was your first experience with a woman? Right? <laughs> yeah. 
Um, who said I've had one? Uh, society. <laughs> I'm, as they say, strictly deeply. No women. Lies. I mean, I might have like, a girlfriend in like seventh grade or something. <laughs> oh, okay, there we go. Tell it. Tell it. <laughs> Tell it. But I mean, I was in seventh grade, so it really don't count. She, I wouldn't even kiss her. I wouldn't okay. even kiss her. People would tell me that she would kiss little boys in the back of the school, and I would just be like, "Oh, okay, let's um, do that." <laughs> so, um, so, so, your relationship. Would you entertain that if a guy was like, uh, bring another girl into our relationship? Too jealous? Or you just think he's wrong? Jealous? No, I can't. I can't. That's, I don't even have a jealous bone in my body. But, because <laughs> at the same time, like, if you think about somebody else, I'm just going to let you kind of have that, you know, I'm going to let you have the other person. But, okay. But in that in that regard, it just like I said, sex is intimate. So bringing in another person that intimacy inti- intimacy is no longer there. On top of that, I don't get all my time. So like I said, you can't even satisfy one person. What you gonna do with two? <laughs> okay, okay. It's your birthday, and your boyfriend comes in with another girl and says, "Hey, baby, we about to satisfy you." I'm gonna say whose birthday is it, mine or yours? <laughs> no, it's yours. Like we 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 doing that but satisfying you. I'm not even gonna touch her. No. Yeah. No. no, because at the same time I didn't choose her. It's a surprise. Don't nobody choose surprises. You can't help who you can't just make me be attracted to somebody if it's gonna happen. I'm not, I'm not, but you I'm, have organically. Okay, I get it. I don't even know she's my type, like I get it, I get it, I get it. I ain't say you gotta kiss her. Just lay there, baby. It don't work like that. That's why I don't let people touch me. Like I really have to like you for you to touch me. Like, I have to actually know this girl. And no, don't say your best friend, because that's definitely out the question. <laughs> Hell no. I thought you was going, I mean, I don't know. Your scenario might have got, I don't know, went left or something. <laughs> my best friend is like my sister. No, not your best friend. I'm talking about my oh. best friend. You know how men are. Oh, your best friend. She's kind of fine. You know what I'm saying? Like, Or... That's a setup. I mean, that's that 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 that. If a nigga say that, that shit, that relationship ain't never gonna work. You like it? I enjoy talking with you. Like you said, didn't even feel like it's an interview. You made me feel comfortable, and you're a dope host. So, <laughs> good job, good job. Yeah, I try, I try, I try. My name is Taz, and I just told my truth at the Revels Room. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Pause, pause. Hey, yeah. Say we gon' fly now. Say we gon' slide now. Look at your fly now. Then ride them high now. Let's make a move now. Show you how to groove now.